Metro. Metro. Metro uh, stands for metronome. Um, all Metro does is generate bangs at a defined interval, time interval. It's a metronome. Um, I can't remember a patch that I made that didn't use Metro in some sense or Q Metro. Um, it's everywhere. You always need a Metro for something. Yeah. Um, it seems like I'm, I'm, deeper, I'm, I'm well, exaggerating, but well, yeah. But the deeper you go, the more you find this need for something that's just going to generate these bangs for you. Yeah. So, so um, there's two versions of Metro. There's Metro and Q Metro. When we get into video, oftentimes you'll see the JIT dot movie object driven by Q Metro, which is just it's a low priority Metro. So, um, like for things like drawing frames of video to the screen, you'll use a Q Metro because um, they can be put in a different priority than something like driving notes. Uh, when you're driving notes through a sequencer, you probably want them to be very accurate. You want them to be in a high priority scheduler. Um, so th when you're doing music and note and driving uh, sequencers, Metro is probably the way to go. Q Metro later on we'll use for uh, more for video. So how do you use Metro? It just generates banks at, at set intervals. You start and stop it with a toggle or a one zero. The toggle just generates one zeros. And um, you set the time here that between notes, uh, between bangs. Um, so if you did Metro 500, it means every 500 milliseconds, it's going to generate a bang. So it's already preset to that with an argument. Um, so it, let's turn it on and see what happens. I have it set up to drive this make a bleep. Um, this, so we can just hear what's going on. Um, and I'm going to set that to be like a, a tone we can hear. So let me set that up. That's pretty good. All right, so now when I turn it on, every 500 milliseconds, it's gonna every half second. Right. It's if every every half second, it's gonna turn the, on this button. The button's gonna uh, trigger whatever numbers in this message uh, in this number box to be sent to this make a bleep, and then it's gonna do its thing and um, we can hear make it. that sound. Uh, but essentially, Metro's driving this button. Um, if I change the time, it's going to override whatever was already in the arguments. So if I put like a 1,000 in here, so now once per second, it's going to drive that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, it's a little counterintuitive. Uh, some of my students have problem have a problem with Metro at the very beginning, thinking that if they put a higher number in here, it's going to go faster. But that's actually backwards. This is the interval between notes or between bangs. Okay. Uh, so if you make a smaller number, it's going to go faster. So, you know, for total newbies and max, it's a little counterintuitive that a smaller number means go faster. Mm -hmm. um, but that's okay. Right. Okay. That's, that's, that's Metro. Metro and Q Metro, but we'll get more into Q Metro later. So. All right.